Hello students, this video is for learning how to prime factor using the hockey stick method. So we're going to prime factor the number 200. So with the hockey stick method, you have to divide your number with prime factors only, okay? So you have to know what prime number goes into 200. So it would help to review divisibility rules, like all even numbers are divisible by two, all numbers that end with zero and five are divisible by five, those rules. But the number 200 is divisible by two. The prime number two goes into 200. So you write it there and then you draw a little hockey stick, hence the name hockey stick method, around it like this. If you divide 200 by the number two, you are left with the number 100. So now you need another prime number that divides into 100. And I know the number two also goes into 100. So I'm gonna put a two here and then I'm gonna draw another hockey stick. I usually draw my hockey stick first. Then you, when you divide 100 by two, you get 50. So here again, you need another prime number that divides into 50. 50 is not a prime number, so you draw another hockey stick. And I'm gonna go with two again. Okay. Two goes into 50 25 times. 25 is not a prime number, so I keep going. Five divides into 25 five times. And now I'm done because five, the number I'm left with is a prime number. So the great thing about prime factoring is these are all your prime factors. So you can write this out in expanded form, two times two times two times five times five equals 200. Or you can write it in condensed form with your prime factors written as powers like so. The advantage of the hockey stick method is that your prime factors are very nicely laid out for you at the very end. They're easy to find and you're less likely to miss seeing one when you have to then rewrite them all out. The disadvantage is you have to only divide by prime factors, which some people might find more challenging for prime factors that are higher like the number 13. Okay, so I want you to try, pause the video here and try the number 120. Pause the video and try the hockey stick method now. All right, I hope you found that well, or good, sorry. And let's prime factor this. So I know two goes into it 60 times, two goes in 30 times, two goes in 15 times, five goes in three times, and here are my prime factors. So write in numerical order, two times two times two times three times five equals 120 or in 120 or in condensed form two cubed times three times five equals 120. I hope that went well for you.